morning and happy Friday. So, <clears throat> welcome to Enlightened Hearts. I'm Naoma. I'll be your readers today. So, I'm picking up on the energy of... Well, I'll just tell you. The cards that came out this morning were the crone and the mask. So, let's see what the crone has to tell us. <clears throat> the crone has seen it all nothing frightens or surprises her she is the final manifestation in the feminine trifecta of maiden mother crone in her long life she's witnessed endless cycles of death sex failure rebirth conflict and regeneration giving her the ability to rise above the world of duality <coughs> Excuse me. She laughs at notions of good or bad, right or wrong. She's seen the earth churning, smoldering, taking life and giving life. The crone energy accepts everything, accepts everything in, devouring beauty and suffering with the same mouth, using their energy to reveal hidden secrets and knowledge. Her energy resides in all of us, though it is feared by most for its power an unconventional relationship with death and the macabre. Awakening the crone is dangerously rich and unapologetically magic. So this is an older female who's seen everything. And with the mask here, it seems like she knows a lot. And... This is collective, so take it how it resonates. It doesn't have to be uh, female. This could be a feminine male, because we just read this energy resides in everybody. But yeah, this is somebody who has seen it all, heard it all, knows it all, but is wearing a mask, hiding their real identity from the world. So... This is also someone who is deeply spiritually connected to the divine. I'm just, I'm, my attention's been brought to the um, coin that the crow is wearing. Here, I'll show you. And it's got the uh, Star of David in it. So this is someone who's deeply connected. That's the two triangles. Up is God, down is Earth, and they're together. It's the conjunction, the commingling of the divine with the human. All right, spirit, what do we need to know about this dynamic? Two of Swords, Six of Wands, and Justice. I feel like you just decided to take it off. There is a, a lesson in wearing the mask. You successfully learned the lesson and you're taking it off. We've got the King of Swords here with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, like, like the mask was part of your personality for so long and now you're unmasking. And because you're unmasking, you're changing cycles. You rode that wheel all the way around. 
because you're in your crone energy, you're in the sage mystic. But now you've mastered balancing your emotions with your thoughts. It's like you understand that you understand that it's all mental. That spirituality is mental. The 3D life that we live is all mental. <clears throat> now you've taken your mask off. Okay. Why was she wearing her mask, Spirit? Ooh, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. To answer the why. Tell me what else. Two of Wands. You know, I'm taken back to this Two of Swords and the Justice card. And they're also both masked. Blindfolded. The lesson was to learn how to navigate this life using your intuition connecting with spirit But the divine intervened. Two, two, one, one, eleven, eleven. You're probably seeing those a lot. But look, you've dropped your mask now. The world is at your fingertips. You just have to decide which way to go. Start making plans. The world is literally at your fingertips. This is new passion, new inspiration that spirit is bringing to you. This is new um, clarity, new clairs. Nuclears. Nuclears. What else? <clears throat> yeah, start making plans. Definitely start making plans. Whatever this decision, whatever this direction is that you have decided to take, most definitely start making plans. Um, this feels like someone who woke up and took their mask off and now they're moving in a new direction. <clears throat> this could be travel for some of you. You may have decided to leave the current um, location where you live. You have this new... <sighs> Um, it's like you've changed but you haven't changed and you've outgrown the location that you're currently in so now you like need to make plans to go somewhere else like it's not even really a need it's a want like needing well it is a need it is a need you need to relocate you need to meet new people you need to 
get out there and connect with um because you've got judgment and you've got justice out here so it was like justice made you take your mask off and judgment is your new beginning especially with the sun you see the path of he ahead of you you see the path ahead of you um and the angels are guiding your direction strength taming the beast inside not even taming this is a blending of the beast inside we've got the infinity symbol here and the strength card looks eerily similar to the yin and yang this is becoming one with the beast inside the oh yeah this is learning or integrating your shadow and your light I command the dark and the light they are me and I am them Wow Wow Okay, so what what is this collective supposed to be doing with this integration? Ooh, let me change cards. What are you supposed to be doing with this integration? Actually, I got Ten of Pentacles down at the bottom. Four of Swords. <clears throat> the integration is your um the integration is your everything. Sleep when you need to sleep. Be awake when you need to be awake. Uh, yeah, you have a job to do. At the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. You were never in the King of Wands. You were never trapped. You had, you knew how to get out of it. You always knew how to get out of it. You always knew how to get out of it. I'm being drawn to the Priestess of Light Oracle. So let's see what they have to say here. Get a message for the collective. You've integrated your light and your dark. Very interesting. the collective needs to know about this integration or anything friendship support fun unity play uh, yeah so I get this really there's a um, lot of fire out here on the table and I'm really getting this overwhelming emotion that you need to change location so that you can find your soul group idyllic times with the garden paradise soul radiance phoenix rising power over difficulty and earth magic twin flames at the bottom of the deck son of a bitch Becoming something new, infinite mind, awakening consciousness, telepathy, death and rebirth, uh, circle of eternal joy. Okay, so you have stepped over the threshold of something very, very special. A, you've stepped onto the twin flame journey, which means that there is a um, divine partner out there for you, but this doesn't have to be. This could be high level soulmate. In fact, this doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. Um, to me, this reading feels like now that you've taken your mask off, 
you're stepping out into the world, showing the world who you are and you're looking for your soul family. And I can relate because I'm in that same sort of situation. I don't connect with the people that I've been around for the last 25 years and I desperately, desperately need to find the people that understand me. And I'm feeling like you also are feeling that same push, that same drive, that same intense intensity. Um, you may be seeing your customers, your employees, your um, people at the grocery store, like you're seeing them differently. You're seeing their souls. You see the thread that connects you and you know which ones are meant to stay and which ones are meant to go, if that makes sense. So let's see, what else spirit has collective need to know? Mm. Your higher self is definitely coming online. And you're able to communicate with your higher self in a different way. Did you know that not everybody has internal dialogue that they can argue with every day? Not everybody has that. You have that. Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Uh, again, new passionate beginnings. This is... New passionate beginnings. Roses may be significant to you. Six of Swords. Moving on to calmer waters. Oh. Some of you may be going... When you change locations, you may be going to a place that has uh, water around it. Uh, <laughs> an island. Or this could be about... The calmer waters could be like... Like man is an island. Like this is just self-care time which self-love is so important oh no man is an island that's that's the saying that's what I was trying to find the other day when I saw the ocean ocean um six of swords moving into calmer waters With new passion, with new gusto, with a renewed heart. This is about self-love. And surrounding yourself with the people who also love you. No judgment. No anxiety. No... No narcissists. death again and the four of wands <laughs> and the ten of wands it's not even a heavy heavy burden to bear this ten of wands makes me feel like like you're taking care of yourself like this is with the death card, with the death card, this is like you, I can buy myself flowers. That's what it feels like. Taking care of you. And then with the four of wands, four of wands is, is that's a something to celebrate. This is celebration with your spirit team, with your soul family. Even if your soul family is not incarnated here at this particular time, this is celebration 
with your soul family. So you took your mask off and now you can move into the life that you contracted before you came back to this earth plane. Wow, good for you, collective. All right, seriously, this is all I have for you today. I'm so happy that you took your mask off. That's what this journey is all about, living authentically. Show the world actually who you are. Who are you? I am a soul. Many of us are more than just souls. We're angels. And we had a mission, especially for the light workers. We're meant to eat the dark. And you definitely have jumped into that role of integrating your shadow with your with your higher self and you've learned your lessons. I don't see temperance out here, but that's because you already learned your lesson. You learned your lesson, and that was why judgment and justice both got called. Wow. So congratulations. I love you guys. I love you guys. It's Friday. Have a nice weekend. Um, I love you, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.